Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a Costco haul today and not very many things. I did leave a, bag, a box of townhouse crackers in the car because we just didn't have any more hands. Of course, we tried to do this all in one trip from the parking garage. So this all came to $181, I believe was our total. So we're just going to run through it really quick. Um, wanted to try these Carrie, is it pronounced Carry Carry? Cara Cara? I guess there's no E. It had to be, is it Cara Cara? Carry Carry? I don't know. Everybody on YouTube seems to be buying these, so I definitely wanted to give them a try. We'll cut one open and um, see if they really are extremely sweet. Um, they're pink inside, so I'm not sure if this is a hybrid between a couple different pieces of fruit. Um, but we're definitely gonna give these a try. These were um, surprisingly, I believe, nine. Looking at my receipt here, I think yeah, they were nine ninety nine, and you get eight pounds. So we're gonna cut one open and see what we think. But those were nine ninety nine. These Purdue um, chicken nuggets, I picked it up on a whim from Target the other night. Put them in the air fryer. They are panko breaded. They were so good. Um, so good. So when I saw them at Costco, I went ahead and picked up this bag. This is $12.99. And I'm not sure how big the bag is, but it's fairly large. I feel like it's probably like, you know, two or three of the little bags that I got at um, Target, which... The one bag was like $9.99 or something. It was $9 definitely at Target. So definitely a good deal. Can I say definitely one more time? But these taste really good. You should try them. Put them in your air fryer. But $12.99 for that bag of um, chicken uh, nuggets. Yeah, $12.99. Um, got bananas for smoothies. And these will take all week probably to ripen, but that's good. Got the Hippie Organic Asparagus, um, and we want to cook those tonight. I think we're going to roast those with the little potatoes from the Little Potato Company. Picked up the um, ground turkey by um, Butterball, and this is four one-pound packages. And I believe that was uh, $22.99. Let's see, got the sweet kale chopped salad mix. I'm going to use this, uh, the greens in here. Well, all the salad mix, not the dressing, but use the salad mix to make um, turkey, ground turkey stir fry over some rice. It's really good. Um, I have been getting like the um, kale salad mix kit at Trader's to make it, but since we were in there, I picked this up. I think this was like $6.49 at Costco. Um, picked up these baby naans. These are so delicious uh, with hummus for a snack, so I picked up some organic hummus. I uh, got the cranberry almond chicken salads. There's eight containers in there, so those would be good for lunchtime. That's why I got a pack of townhouse crackers, but I, like I said, we left those in the car. Um, the almond milk pick that up. This lasts us for three weeks, so there's three containers in there. We open one container um, and, and use it up during the week, so that's three weeks worth of milk for us. Um, picked up the Chobani. I think this was on sale for $9.99 this week. Uh, there's 20... I think is there 21 in there? Or there's 20, so that'll last us. I'm pretty much the only one that eats yogurt. Um, that should last us at least two weeks, if not more. So I really kind of wanted to get the Phillips crab cakes and do um, that with the roasted potatoes and asparagus. Surprisingly, these crab cakes were $29. I don't really remember them being that pricey last time I bought them, but um, we were there, so I went ahead and got them. I hope they'll be delicious, as always. And since we already spent $29 on those, I'm like, why not get the calamari? I thought this would be really good in the air fryer. Uh, the calamari was like $8.97, I think. I'm trying to look at my receipt here. Yeah, $8.97 for the calamari. 
Wow, that chicken salad was like ten eighty nine, but I think it'll be really good um, throughout the week for lunches. Crab cakes twenty nine eighty nine, um, and underneath that is these um, fully cooked chicken breast bites, and you get I think there's eight or ten maybe. Yeah, it looks like there's ten of them. So I thought that would be good for my daughter to kind of just throw in her lunchbox to take to school uh, with, you know, some fruit on the side or something or crackers. So hopefully this tastes good and not uh, like imitation. Fully cooked chicken raised without antibiotics, product of Canada, fire grilled. So hopefully, and that would be good too to throw over a little salad. And speaking of salad, I got the spring mix for uh, $4.49. And we'll probably, we have to best if used by March 17th, so we're going to be having some salads this week for sure. And like I said, that's everything for a total of 181 after taxes, I believe. So let's get one of these oranges out and, um, and see what it's like. See what all the, the craze is about. Okay, so not exactly pink to me. It just looks like it's it's lighter than a, a blood orange, right? So let's give it a try. It, it does smell good, so I'm gonna give it a try and see what I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's sweet. I don't know if it's any different than a regular orange. I don't know. Do you want to try a piece? Let me give my daughter a piece, see what she thinks. I'm going to take it over here. You can check out my living room. What do you think? Take a bite, see what you think. Yes, take a bite, see what you think. Have you guys tried these? And what do you think? Do you think they're like, are they, is it good? It's, it's good, right? But is it like, oh my gosh, just tastes like an orange, right? All right. Well, we've got them three pounds of them. So we'll be getting in our, uh, vitamin C for sure. At least they don't have seeds. So that's a good thing. So, you know, that's good. That's a plus. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.